Hey guys, welcome back to Life's Digital and x 11. Today we're looking at the failure system which is on x 11. It's a really good system, quite user friendly and we're looking at how to get it to do what you want it to do. So choose your aircraft and click customize. Down at the bottom left here we can see weight balance and fuel and that is essentially what it says. You can alter the weight balance and the fuel and you can even have your plane back heavy or front heavy if you want um, you can have it overloaded but just for now we'll have a look at the failures system and see how that works so on here we've got a lot of drop down menus uh, each of these has got many categories of different things that can go wrong in the world system for instance we've got um, runway lights that might not illuminate um, smoke in the cockpit bird strike those sorts of things, um, systems failures, instrument failures, so it could be your horizontal, your horizon that's uh, not working, your altitude meter, uh, wing failures, and you can have engine removal, you name it. But for today we'll just have a look at um, uh, something straightforward, quite a popular one is engines and engine failures, so we'll have a look at that. And once we've learned how to set one of these up, um, it's essentially the same to set anything else up. So engine fire, engine fail, engine flame out, it doesn't matter which. Um, if we click failed on this drop down menu, essentially as soon as you start explain that will be failed. If you do it through the configuration menu while you are flying, that will fail that will fail while you are flying. Um, fail when you press Ctrl and F self-explanatory while you are flying press ctrl and f and it will fail straight away uh, click on fail at exact altitude so if we select 3000 feet for instance as soon as we reach 3000 feet that will fail same for exact speed 250 knots and then that will fail and so on so that one there set for the time 33 minutes and it will fail set the time for whatever you like um, but for now we'll just leave it on always working and we will go down to the mean time between failures. So just click on fix all systems, check the box for our set mean time failure and then in the hours we just put 10,000 just for a starting point that is the default and that gives us one failure per 39 hours. It could be failure within the first two or three hours, it could be 20 hours plus before the failure comes, but you should get one, maybe two failures within, within that time. It's a bit of a guide really, more than anything. Um, but just for this tutorial, we're going to look at um, a ridiculous figure, just so we definitely get some sort of random um, failure. So we'll stick in the box there, we'll stick uh, 100 in, um, and then we'll see what it gives us. So 100 gives us apparently two failures per hour, it could be slightly more, could be less. And if we stick 80 in we get three failures per hour. Again it could be more, it could be less depending on, on what happens. But essentially if you're going on a flight for half an hour to an hour, um, you're going to get some sort of failure you would like to think anyway. So we'll check that out, we'll take a flight and see what happens. And then uh, we'll try and look at what failures we get and how long it took to get them. Just try and choose an airport that's not too stormy. Let's do it. So here we are, Cardiff Airport. Never been here. Not that it matters, but I'm not messing around with air traffic control or anything like that. We're just basically going to flaps down, take off, and then just wait for the systems to fail and we'll jump straight to that point so there'll be no uh, mega amount of footage to get through. Flaps down and off we go. So just out of interest there, if you press I on your keyboard, if you just remember I for information, that will let you know if you've got any failures or not. It says at the sort of top left corner of that uh, drop down menu, um, it'll say no systems failed if nothing's failed, unless you've seen any alarm lights or anything like that in the cockpit. Also, just out of interest, if you click on the flight menu at the top, um, while you are flying, you can jump straight into failures if you fancy it, and you can get something to fail instantly, 
or you can do what we've just looked at. You can set something within the next few minutes or the next hour or whatever you want to do. But um, I'll leave this at this point now, and then we'll just um, we'll just jump to the uh, failure point and we'll estimate how long it was before it failed. So there we go, roll control 2, and that's literally about 5 minutes into the flight, which means we have lost slight control on the right hand turn there, but I'm going to carry on going and see what else we get. Bird strike, that is not good. See if it's done some damage. Yeah, so we've got an engine fire, uh, got engine fire, still got the roll control, generator lost, and the burst right. So, pretty bad day at the office, actually. And I've got to say, that was all within the first sort of 15 minutes, so that's pretty unlucky. I mean, we could have flown for an hour without getting any of that. Um, anyway, I'll uh, leave this with you guys. Thanks ever so much for watching, and thanks for checking in. Um, if there's anything I can check for you or anything you want me to try, please let me know. Um, thanks ever so much and have a safe and enjoyable day.